Okay, let's do an example problem where we find internal resultant loads. Here we have problem 1.1-2, and it asks, determine the internal resultant loads at point B. Now here's our structure. See, it's a beam with external loads, a distributed load, triangular shape, also a moment at the end, two reactions, a pin at A, a roller at C. Okay, I've set up my paper with the given information finding the internal result loads at B, and now we write the solution. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a free body diagram. Okay, I've drawn my free body diagram with the uh, reactions at A. There's two of them, one vertical, one horizontal, and a reaction at C. I, uh, we have a distributed load, triangular shaped, which is going to be replaced by a single resultant force that I'm going to call R. Okay, now I'm going to use my equation of static equilibrium to get my result, my reaction loads. Okay, now I've found reaction loads. Uh, let's look at the equation that I wrote for the, summing the moments about A. This value of 24 is the location of the distance from the location of the resultant force to point A. And that resultant is acting one-third of the base distance over on this triangle from the large end. The base distance is 36 inches, so this is 12 inches. From the diagram above, we see that this distance here is also 12 inches. So together, the resultant force is a total of 24 inches from point A. That's where 24 inches came from. Okay, now it's time to uh, cut the member at point B. I'm going to draw a free body diagram of the cut member. Okay, now I've drawn my uh, free body diagram. I have uh, labeled the external loads. I've left uh, the magnitude of the distributed load blank. We'll stop for that in just a minute. Now I'm going to add my internal resultant loads at point B, which is right here at the cut. Okay, there are three internal resultant loads. A force uh, vertical, a force normal, uh, and a moment. The force vertical is, of course, our internal shear force. Okay, I'm able to find what the magnitude of my triangular distributed load is uh, in the cut section. You can see that uh, in the full section, the magnitude is 350, but when we cut it at B, it's going to be something less than 350. We can find what that value is, is just by uh, taking a ratio, uh, this length here, which is from B to D, is 9 plus 18. That is 27 inches. The original length, or the length of the full distributed load, is 36 inches. Using that ratio, we get the maximum value for the distributed load in the cut section. Okay, I was able to find my results of the load. Uh, acting on the cut section, uh, the resultant load of this uh, triangular distribution, as shown. Now I will apply the f my equation of static equilibrium to calculate values for the internal resultant loads, the normal force, shear force, and moment. Okay, using the forces of static equilibrium, I was able to solve for my internal resultant loads the internal normal, the internal shear, because of the negative sign, that means the orientation of my arrow was drawn, or is assumed to be incorrectly. So we can also write this as 1466.25 pounds pointing down. And my internal moment also calculated to be 14.1 inch kips, or 14,096.25 inch pounds. And we're done.